When we evaluate a muscle biopsy, it's important to not only have sufficient tissue, but to also have tissue that has been handled properly to preserve the tissue architecture and to avoid the introduction of artifact. Muscle biopsy should consist of three pieces, roughly eight to 10 millimeters in diameter, or roughly the width of a pencil eraser, by at least 10 millimeters in length. Two of these pieces should be sent fresh, and the third should be sent in EM fixative. If you only have two pieces, save the larger piece to be sent fresh. Let's begin with the fresh tissue. It can be helpful to lay the tissue on a tongue blade before gently wrapping the tissue in saline moistened gauze. The gauze should be completely moistened with isotonic saline, but not dripping wet. Place the muscle wrapped in gauze in an airtight container labeled with at least two patient identifiers as well as the time and date of biopsy. The portion of the biopsy designated for electron microscopy should be sutured or tied to tongue blade at resting length. We don't want to crush the tissue, we just want to hold the tissue flat at its relaxed length during fixation. Submerge the tongue blade with the tissue into a vial of 4 to 1 EM fixative and label it with the patient sticker. Our lab provides two types of fixative, 4 to 1 formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde for muscle and kidney biopsies and 3% glutaraldehyde for nerve biopsies. Please be sure to use the 4 to 1 EM fixative for the muscle biopsy. Both types of fixative should be kept refrigerated and are good for at least one year. Once you have both the fresh and fixed pieces and labeled containers, place each container in separate specimen bags to ensure the EM fixative does not leak into the fresh specimen container. Send the tissue over wet ice or a refrigerated ice pack. Specimens can be sent in a specimen bucket or bag for local deliveries. Or they can be placed in a styrofoam box for further deliveries. Keep in mind that we don't want the tissue to freeze in transit, so avoid overpacking the container with ice. If the tissue freezes before it gets to the lab, freezing artifact can develop on the tissue. Along with the tissue, you should also send several pieces of paperwork. Please include the neuromuscular pathology request form, the insurance face sheet, and any recent neurology, rheumatology, or inpatient outpatient progress notes. We need to know who referred the patient for the biopsy and what the provider is assessing for. To review, two fresh pieces of tissue should be sent in saline gauze in a specimen container. One piece should be sent tied to a piece of tongue depressor and submerged in EM fixative. Both specimen containers should be labeled with two patient identifiers, placed in specimen bags, and sent over wet ice or a refrigerated cold pack. Along with the biopsy, please send a test requisition form, insurance face sheet, and recent clinical notes. Our lab is happy to supply fixative and kits for packing muscle and nerve biopsies. Please contact our lab when the biopsy is initially scheduled so we can make sure you have everything you need. This also allows us to ensure we have adequate staffing ready on the day and time of the biopsy to snap freeze and process the tissue as soon as possible to minimize the risk of freezing artifact or degradation. Feel free to contact our lab with any questions and thank you for helping us get the most clinical information out of every biopsy.